It's about the ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner. It's a 3D scanner, not the 2D one that you can find on the current Chinese phones. There's a lot of controversy surrounding this. Some are saying it will not work with the tempered glass screen protectors, while some are arguing it will. I think it should work. We've seen companies making tempered glass screen protectors for the Galaxy S10 without holes in it. If it doesn't work, why would they even bother making those and taking huge losses that way? So it should work in my opinion and thankfully we don't have to wait long to find out. Here's the second teaser. It's about the reverse wireless charging feature similar to that of Huawei's. But the difference here is that it's actually useful and faster as it has an output of 9 watts versus Huawei's mere 2.5 watts. The final teaser is very interesting as it shows that the front camera can record 4K videos and also has an optical image stabilization. This is a first for a smartphone. We heard about this a few days ago and it seemed too good to be true at that time but Samsung with this teaser confirmed that it's true. Yes, you read that right. Google paid almost $10 billion to Apple in 2018 to stay as the default search engine in Safari. Apple is one of the biggest channels of traffic acquisition for Google and it generates almost half of search revenues from iOS devices. So it's a no brainer why Google wants to pay them such absurd amount of money. By the way, analysts believes that this number will only continue to grow, potentially leading to a payment of $12 billion in 2019. These are just pure profits to Apple. They don't have to do anything but set Google as the default search engine and get paid $10 billion in a year. Anyway, consider subscribing for all the latest updates on the Galaxy S10. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.